Hello, Junior 4 students. How are you? Welcome to your science class in the Big Sister channel with me, Ms. Shema Hamdi Qasim. Okay, so we will start our lessons in science for this year. Okay, but now we will take a small introduction that doesn't need anything from you. Just listen to me. You can bring your snacks, whatever you like, okay? Relax your mind and listen to me. First, I want to introduce myself to you as I am Dr. Shema Hamdi. I really love science and passionate about teaching it, okay? So I always find the best way to make it simple and easy, interesting, so trust me in this point you will love science and about my way in teaching science i teach science subject totally by english language but don't worry about understanding as i speak slowly and clearly so you will understand what i say also, the pictures and the drawing, the videos in my content make you understand every single information. And I provide an Arabic translation in my videos. So, these all make my videos understandable and easy for you. Okay? So, now... It's time for a small introduction about science. Okay, so are you ready? Listen to me. What is science? You know? Science is the knowledge. Okay? The information about many topics. As about Earth. You know Earth? Yes. The planet that we live on. Okay? And the environments. As we have many environments. Okay, on Earth, we have a desert environment, we have marine environment, the sea and oceans, okay? And we have forest. So all of these are in different environments. Okay, so science in the information about Earth or environments or living organisms as what? Yes, animals, plants human okay and also about the nature and how to mix substances okay as you see here if we study the earth okay and the planets so this is one topic of the science okay also about environments as you see here this is one of the environments which is forests okay here is another environment in very cold places so this is another environment okay which is polar regions or polar environment okay here as you see this is desert okay so this is another environment and also we have marine environment the sea and oceans all of these are environments that the science can study them okay also one topic or branch of science that studies what living organisms as you see here this is a polar bear what is this polar bear okay and it lives in polar regions very cold regions extreme cold regions okay also we have here this is fox and this type of foxes is called what fennec fox okay and it lives in desert okay so this is another living organisms that the science can study them also here we have shark that lives in oceans and seas okay also another types of living organisms like what yes plants okay as trees and balm trees okay also living organisms like us yes like human okay science studies the human body okay so 
this is one topic of the signs. As you see here, can you read this sentence? The signs of the human body. As we can know information about our bodies, inside our bodies, by the signs. Okay? Also, science studies what? Yes, as magnets, you studied magnets last year. Yes? You know some information about the magnets. Okay? Also, science studies the movement of the things. Okay? How the things move. Okay? As you see here, this you may see it before. Okay? The science studies how these balls moves. Okay? Also, how this roller coaster moves. This called roller coaster. And you see it in the amusement park. Yes? Okay? So, from that, what we can understand that science is very important. And why? Because it helps us to understand the world around us. All things around us can be studied by science, okay? Okay, so science helps us to discover the world around us, okay? Also to explore in the space, okay? Also, it helps us to invent many things like laptops, mobile phones, and satellites, okay? Also, it helps us to invent modern devices in medicine. So, this is great, yes? Okay, now we want to know the people who study and work in the science or in one of the sciences. They are called what? Scientists. Scientists, okay? So, scientist is the person who study and work in one of the sciences as this person study the living organisms or study how to mix substances or any topic of the sciences okay okay as they do experiments and they write the results they record the results and they know how to answer any question in the science any problem how now we want to know how do the scientists think okay okay first there is a question okay so the scientists start to think how to answer this question okay so he put claim what the meaning of claim it is a sentence okay that gives an answer for this question okay so, here we have a question, and then we have the second step, the claim, okay? So, the third step, we want to have an evidence for this answer, okay? So, scientists should have enough evidences to support their claim, to support their answer, okay? That this answer is correct answer for this question, okay? And... The last step here, the fourth step, is the explanation. As it explains the claim and the evidence with examples. Okay? So, here in this step, it explains the claim, the answer of the scientist. Okay? And the evidences uh, with examples. Okay? So, how the scientists think first there is a question in the science okay any problem so the scientists start to claim to put a claim answers for this question question okay and then the scientists should give evidence okay for this answer okay that this answer is correct how by doing experiments and writing results, recording results, okay? And then, 
Now we have the explanation. So again, we have four steps in how to think like a scientist. First, we have question, okay? And then we put a claim, an answer for this question. Then we have the third step, which is evidence, okay? As we have evidence for this answer, okay? And the last step, which is the explanation, okay? Why I told you this? Because you will see in your book that there are activities about how to think like a scientist. As you see here, this is from Al Muasir book, okay? So now we want to talk about your science book, okay? As we have two themes. Theme one talks about systems, okay? If you want to know what is the meaning of systems, let me know in the comments and I will make a short video to make you know what is the meaning of systems, okay? So here we have theme one systems. It contains Unit 1, Living Systems, okay? And this unit, we have three concepts in it. Concept 1, Concept 2, and Concept 3. Concept 1 talks about adaptations for survival, and we will know what is the meaning of adaptation for survival. Also, we have Concept 2 talks about census. You know the census? Yes the five senses we have and all living organisms have, okay, which are sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste, yes? And concept three, we will talk about light and sight, okay? One of the five senses, okay? So, I want you to know that we refer to unit one, concept one, by concept one, Point one, as you see here, okay, in pink. So, if we want to talk about concept one, unit one, so we will write concept one point one. If we want to talk about unit one, concept two, so we will write concept one point two. That means that this is unit one, concept two, okay, and so on. And we have concept one point three means that this is unit one concept three okay okay now we will study what unit one living organisms and the first concept which talks about adaptation for survival okay as this unit has the title living systems so living system that means that we will talk about living organisms like human like animals and plants yes i want you to know that any living organism has some characteristics, some features that help it to live and survive. Survive means to keep this animal alive, okay? To don't die. Eat examples. As we see here, this is a camel. Camel's body is covered with a thick, hairy skin. Why? to protect it from the hot weather in the desert, okay? So, it can survive, okay? So, here, this is adaptation that the camel has a thick, hairy skin, okay? Okay, also, we have another example from the plant as the balm tree. The balm tree has strong roots. Do you know the roots? Yes, this is the roots, okay? Why? To fix them in the soil. Fix them means to make it strong. It can't be break by the strong wind in the desert. So here, that the balm tree has strong roots, this is an adaptation, okay? To keep this balm tree strong and fix it in the soil so they can't be broken okay so we have many factors many reasons that affect the life of living organisms that make the living organism and live and survive okay in their environment 
Okay, like what? Can you think with me? Any living organisms need what? To keep alive. Yes, well done, Junior, for students. Like the amount of water. Yes, any living organisms need water to live. Yes, also the availability of food. Okay, as this food found here in this place or not. Yes, so these are two factors. The amount of water and the availability of food. Okay. Also, the availability of shelter. You know, shelter? Shelter is the home. Okay. As any living organism needs shelter. As you see here, if we talk about the camel, so this is the shelter of the camel. Shelter. Shelter. Okay. So we have now amount of water, availability of food availability of shelter or home and also another factor which is the cold and hot temperatures as some animals can live in very cold temperatures very cold regions okay extreme cold regions like the polar bear if the polar bear lives in extreme hot weather what the meaning of extreme hot weather very very hot weather so it will die okay because it is adapted to live in extreme cold weather because polar bear need cold weather to live in okay also as you see here some animals can't live in the extreme hot weather okay and other animals that can't live in extreme cold weather it needs hot weather to live a warm weather to live in okay so here we know what we know that some living organisms have adaptations to live in very cold weather or in very hot weather as extreme hot weather they can't live in another weather why? Because they have adaptations that help them to survive in their environments. Okay, so next video, we will see examples for living organisms that adapt to live in extreme hot weather and extreme cold weather. And don't forget that adaptation means what? To survive, to keep alive in this environment. Okay? So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.